Uh, so yeah, this is the new Assassin's Creed. Just to give a quick heads up about it all. Um, do, do we, do we say, like, I, I don't know. Yep. I'm, I'm like so like scared because it's been a long time since I did a stream that wasn't Trove. I'm just expecting everybody to be angers with me. <laughs> uh, but don't worry. I, I will say this just before we start messing around here. Uh, I will say that we are going to be doing a lot more Trove streams when the Trove update hits, which is less than two weeks away, because it's not next Tuesday, it's the Tuesday after. Now that said, what is up dudes and dudes to the year and up? My name is Seth. It's five in the morning in Canada here for me, so I don't know what you freaks are doing up. I'm a monster, that's why I'm up. Um... We're, we're not doing the beginning of the game, we're not doing a full series of the game or anything like that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Origins for like five hours since I got it, like the two days ago. That's pretty much all my spare time has been going into this game. I love it. Like, this game is amazing. I wanted to stream it. I, I'm sorry. I'm just going to do it. We're just going to play the game. I don't care about the story or anything. I'm just messing around with the gameplay. Like, look at all of that. Look at this world. It's gigantic. You can steal those boats. I, I spent all of yesterday, that is to say a couple hours, just sailing around in boats killing crocodiles. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you're all gonna enjoy watching me just do the things that I do. Like that, the nice eagle dive. Also, what is, oh good, it's daytime. I don't know why, I thought it was nighttime for some strange reason. But yeah, I, I got this armor from like a NPC and a bunch of stuff. I'll kind of explain a little bit of the game mechanics as we end up playing it. But essentially this is kind of like a big open world RPG, which is why I was really, really uh, kind of off put about this game. Like I was kind of a little bit worried about Assassin's Creed Origins because I thought, oh no, another Assassin's Creed. And they're also going to have it be like some weird RPG elements like leveled enemies, loots from enemies uh, and stuff like that. Uh, there's also loot crates as well that you can buy from a certain merchant. We won't even get into the cash shop of this game. It's absolutely insane. Like seriously, you can, you can buy ability points to spend on your skills. You can buy legendary gear and just skip yourself virtually to the end of the game by spending like hundreds of dollars. But I didn't do any of that, so don't worry. You know, we're still playing this game vanilla. <laughs> it, it's so cool though, dude. Like, I love this game. The amount of detail that we've got in the entire environment is just insane. The parkouring. Uh, so what we're essentially going to be doing for right now, anyways, is that over there, that that eagle thing. This is my pet eagle, by the way. We're, we're going to be heading over to that. Because it's going to give us a little bit of the map area. And it's also going to end up doing, uh, like, upping the stats of my eagle. Because this game is very, very RPG. Like, it, it's like, it's an RPG open world game that is also Assassin's Creed. And I'm completely sold on it, dude. Where's my stupid camel? Darius! Where are you hiding? There he is. Ha ha! But, I, you know, I hope you're okay with me just kind of jumping into the middle of the game. Not not even the middle of the game. I got through the, like, the, tut the tutorial area, did a couple side quests, and that's all there really is to it, right? So, hopefully... Random statue! Hopefully you're all okay with that. Just random gameplay and never mind... Uh, Never mind, like, trying to do, like, the story or anything. Okay, that was just some weird side collectible thing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I just I just attack them whenever I see them. You, you can go hunting and stuff, and, uh, like, while these creatures do actually have, like, fur and a bunch of junk that you would then end up using to, like, upgrade your gear and, like, attack and defense and stuff like that, the thing is, you could buy it all in the cash shop. So, again, it's like... <sighs> This game's on PC, Xbox One, and PS4 right now. Uh, and it's just, what the? Okay, well, randomly we're gonna be in combat because I wasn't paying attention. Rip me! I am a brutal monster! Yes! This game's uh, not entirely G-rated or anything. Like, it's not gonna be necessarily family friendly, so just a heads up to the kids out there. Uh, but we're doing a live stream, so I can't obviously put warnings on the video or anything where's this last idiot where is this last guy i know he's somewhere around here what you're supposed to do <laughs> is scan everything with your with your bird right this isn't alpha why do you guys think this is alpha this game is out 
Like, it's fully released. Assassin's Creed Origins. It's so cool, though, dude. But yeah, that that's the combat, so it's really cool. But man alive, it takes... Blah, 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 blah. It takes a long time to get used to the combat, dude. Like, really. It's very different from the other Assassin's Creed. This is the PC version. What are you talking about, you freak? I have the settings pretty much cranked to maximum. Just... You know, we're live streaming, so obviously it's not going to be the best uh, possible quality. Uh, no, this is on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, totally. I know it's not Trove, I'm sorry, I wanted to play something else. Hey, Stratus. I'm sorry. I know. All of the poop signifies that we can do this beautiful swan dive. Hee <laughs> hee. So, now our eagle is that much stronger, but I want to survey the area. See, look at all this. We could be hunting all sorts of things. Ooh, speaking of which, you know what? This is going to be perfect because I got an ability. Let, let me take a little peek and show you all this. We got all our different gear. Yes, there's different qualities of mounts and stuff like that. It's crazy, dude. Uh, but here's the ability tree. You can literally buy ability points in the cash shop, which is very questionable. But we've got this right here, animal taming. I haven't actually messed with this. Is this game really on the Switch? Like that, I couldn't imagine, like what would it be? At like 10 frames a second or something? I mean, I, the funny thing too is how the quality, like uh, the quality check for this game with all the recommended settings and everything like that, it's like, you could run this game at a solid 30 frames. And it's like, dude, I want it at 60 frames. like all day, every day, right? Which we've got it at kind of 60 frames, kind of. What is that thing down there? Those are hyenas. I does not want hyena. I know I said that like really, really messed up. Uh, so what do we got? Uh, no, that's just gonna be some other dude. What is the map trying to point me to? What is that? Treasure? Treasure, okay. I guess that's where we're going rather than taming an animal or something. Jabias, where are you, you stupid camel? Let me know how the sound is, by the way, if, uh, you know, maybe I don't have the background music or the game sound to be loud enough or anything. New location, a Noah cave. See, this is why I love this game, dude. It's like Skyrim, but better. Like, seriously. I know, I'm sorry that I'm not on Trove, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have a troll video come out today. Don't worry, you, you freaks. Of course I'm gonna have it. Is there bad guys in here or anything? But I, I was just playing this, and I thought, why am I wasting my time playing this alone? Let's play it together, right? Random treasure, which is going to be another garbage weapon. See, the cool thing, too, is if you find a weapon that you like, most importantly, a legendary weapon, like the ones that I'm rocking, you can actually upgrade them at a blacksmith to your own, like, character's, uh, level. So you can kind of, like, continuously keep using the weapon that you enjoy using. I, I really like these dual blades because it makes me feel like a cool assassin. But, uh, it's, it's not necessarily, they're, they're not necessarily the best because, man alive, like you saw in that combat sequence two seconds ago, you gotta get up close and personal with them, like, seriously. Where is a tiger? I want myself a pet! Like, seriously, game? Where, where's some type of a creature? I don't want to keep going out to the wild, though. I want to go, like, towards the town. Because that's where all the interesting, cool things happen. This is pretty much like Breath of the Wild, by the way, like Zelda. Because it's like, you can set your arrows on fire by dipping them in fire. You can throw a bunch of things at, uh, other things, and it's just, it's such a good game. You guys killed my lion! I was going to capture that thing and then make it my friend and then eat it. So you know what? Instead, I'm gonna do the tried and true system of any horse combat game. Spin around in circles and knife them. <laughs> I like how we can actually loot things on our creature as well. Hey, bat! Get out of here, you dumb hyena. I love the uh, accurate uh, AI of the hyena because they're a pack animal and I'm actually teasing the fact that there would be uh, like, if there was only one hyena, they would actually leave. Yeah, this game's quite expensive. Hello, random guard. There's also arrow combat, but I kind of suck at it. So I don't really do it very often. Why did it... Who was that guy and why did I kill him? I guess because our eyes met and it was just... Like, we just both knew inside. Like, it was kill or be killed. Is that the track of his horse? Yeah, it is. Dude, that's so cool. 
Like the little details about this game, dude. I love it. Oh, and then this is kind of like a, uh, a caravan road. So that's why we've got like the normal pathway right here. These guys are gonna also, whoa! Those guys are way too high level. That's why they have the skulls on them. We gotta escape. Yeah! Help me! <laughs> They're probably gonna like one shot me, dude. T Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh no, hippos! I didn't count on this one. Take the boat and run! GTA style! Ha ha! <laughs> like, uh, the little adventures, dude, like that's the thing. Uh, this game's got a pretty tight, like, core game to it, you know, doing all the side quests and junk like that. But you know a game is good when you have fun messing around. And I have a lot of fun messing around. So I'm hoping you're all having a good time too. Those of you that are a little bit more open minded and not just like, please play only Trove for the rest of your life. I'm gonna play Trove for the rest of my life. Don't worry. All right, let's see if we can do. See, like, I already did most of this stuff. Oh, I want to, wait, hippopotamus layer. Really? That was a layer? All right, let's go check it out. That means that there's like some, uh, what's it called? There's some type of boss enemy. Ooh, but before we do that, this is one of my favorite things to do. I love like getting on these ships and just causing trouble. I Duh, I didn't want to like get on. I wanted to hide. That's cool. We'll just do this and mark all of them. I don't know why he did that. I wanted to like sneak. That's the whole thing. I like sneaking. See, you use your eagle to mark things. I just wasn't doing it properly before. Okay, let's just pretend that these guys didn't notice us, right? Just pretend that they didn't notice us. Man, this game's beautiful. Like, look at this. Isn't it amazing? Okay, okay, okay. Now we're doing okay, because now they're kind of cautious, but it's it's an Assassin's Creed game, so we're gonna be able to do like, you know, the typical Assassin's Creed things, like pull this guy off the ledge for no reason. <laughs> and then sneak around, like, you know? Like, I love, I love the stealth thing, so it's probably gonna be like really, really boring for you guys and gals, because I like stealthing in this game. And, 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 and still thinks a very slow play style. Ah! Ah, push him down and die! Yes! Okay, let's do some of the bow combat here. I, I'm like not, I'm not doing very good. There's a headshot. And you're going down too, stupid. I love it. The, the amount of skills that you can end up gaining with your character too are very like, um... Uh, like you can really build your character to being like sneaky or towards like combat oriented and stuff Oh, there's that dumb hippos layer. Where's a boat? This game's actually usually really good for yeah There he is uh, throwing random NPC boats when you're like out in the water and stuff. Oh, by the way, you can dive ah, Crocodile no wait. That's a hippo. Yep <laughs> Stupid hippo get out of my face uh, you can actually swim underwater, and they have, like, underwater hidden t uh, temples and stuff like that. It's really, really tight. Like, I love it. Okay, let's mark all these idiots. You dumb animals. <laughs> you didn't expect the assassin to target the wildlife, did you now? Can we sneak up on animals? What are these guys doing? Shut up. Can we sneak up on them? That's what I'm curious to know. Let me get my sleep darts handy. Also, can we capture him? Whoops, I completely missed. There we go. Yes. Tame animal. Oh, he is my brother. Wait, they killed my hippo boss. They killed my hippo boss. Where's my hippo boss? They killed it, so we can't get the objective of kill an animal. That's a really bad objective. Like, seriously. Can I attack my own animal? No, I can't. That's really cool that he's a pet. I wish that I could ride him. All right. Hippo versus hippo. Who will win? Get him, brother! Yes! Oh, dude, that's so cool! <laughs> I haven't actually seen the ability. These animals look great, too. Yes! You stupid hippos! And little does our ally know that as he becomes weaker in the battle, 
Uh, it means that he'll be that much easier when I untame and kill him, too. <laughs> oh, look at the water. Like, just from their little fight, too. All right, this is boring. Anyways, uh, where's this idiot? Super power move! Oh, our hippo won? No, our hippo didn't win. I got you, you dummy! Get him with me! Man, these hippos are tanky. Jeez Louise. Okay. So, what happens if I untame the animal? Does he just go berserk? Yes! Huh. Yeah! That's right! Oh, dumb hippo creature! Huh. See, I'm not very good with the combat, and especially using these dual knives. Like, they're really cool, but you gotta be so close. Like, seriously, what's this? What did I just loot? Oh, that's like some random dead guy. All right. Oh, it's a caravan or something. That's really neat. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You just did some random side quest somehow or something. Where's the hippo king, dude? He's like gone. All right, I don't know. Anyways, um, then there's some type of vulture. I don't like killing the vultures. Oh, it actually did give us the quest for the kill the animal, even though I didn't actually like kill the animal. Those other guards did. Anyways, Jabias, where are you, you stupid camel? No, come back here! I also have, like, the, these weapons. It's pretty cool. I, I'm not supposed to have them. Um, I grinded a lot of gold, and I bought, like, a mystery loot crate box from a merchant. And it just so happened to end up having these. Oh, this looks like a guard den. So now you get to see, y'all get to see the, the aspect of this game that I personally am a little bit worried is going to be very boring for footage. But I don't care. I have a lot of fun doing it. We're going to try and stealth through this. Hopefully without, uh, that, that's like the boss enemy right there. He's going to drop some stuff. Hopefully without getting caught. I want to be able to stealth kill everybody. That's my goal. I love doing it. So bear with me. It's probably going to take me a lot longer to complete this area than you would think. I, I do play on Xbox, if that's what you're wondering. I'm not playing this on the Xbox. Mm -hmm. All right. Looks like we're going to be able to get this guy because he's just unsuspecting. I'm watching the front door. Okay, Basil? <laughs> Now we watch the front door forever in Valhalla. Uh, the other thing, too, that's really neat, if I can ever... Is there an enemy on his own? Yeah, see that level 7 enemy? We can tag him if I can sneak up to him properly. Wait, there's a guy right here. Oh, perfect. I'm going to tag him with a berserk potion. <laughs> that was close. Which is ultimately going to make him go nuts, and he's going to attack everybody. Let's watch the chaos ensue. Yes! <laughs> I love it, dude! Like, oh, he actually is stronger than those other guys. He got him. Oh, he's gonna die by the boss, though. Yeah, he's totally gonna die by the boss. Uh, you know what we can do, though? We can be a jerk. And even the odds a little bit here. A soldier is trying to light the brazier. Where? What soldier's trying to light the brazier? You mean the boss guy? Because that ain't good if he is. Huh. Oh my gosh. Yep, it's him. It's him. Okay. Okay. This is going to work, right? This is totally going to work. Take this, you dumb captain! That's what you get for trying to light the beacon and let Rohan know that badness is afoot. <laughs> okay. Um, oh boy. There's also treasure in there that we're trying to steal. But I love it, dude. I mean, technically we got, you know, that guy knew we were here. But we still haven't been spotted. Uh-oh, that guy's like talking, saying sound the alarm. Sound this alarm, you freak! Ha! See, we still didn't get spotted. We still didn't get spotted. Technically speaking, I mean, they noticed us, but not before they died, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? I don't want him to notice the body, so... Bloop! Go to sleep forever. Yes! And then do a nice little spin dance with me for no reason. All right, let's grab this treasure. I, I know everybody's into Trove. I was just playing this game randomly and I, I wanted to. Ha ha! I am the stealthy ninja that you never expect. Bunch of garbage gear, just what I always wanted. So the other thing too that we could actually be doing is, is apparently the game tip told me like, I don't know, throw, throw some sleep dart at a fire and it'll set fire to 
the area or cause an explosion or something. We'll try that in two seconds because I never did, um, I never did that. Mission accomplished. Snuck through the entire base, uh, killing everyone. Okay, let's see. Can we, can we do this? I want to see what this game's talking about. Oh, okay, so it stuns enemies. That's what it meant when it said explosion. I like how it stuns me too. Like, okay. Or is it just an AOE thing that's just there now? Nope, it's not. All right. When will you make a new series? That's the thing, dude. I'm probably not gonna make a series of this game. That's why we're just gonna be doing it as a casual live stream. I got so much stuff to sell. Like, ugh. I got too many items, dude. Ooh, look, we can upgrade our quiver. Max arrow capacity increase. So these are like, like the these items right here is kind of like, as you can see, it's increasing our hidden blade damage. So the hidden blade kind of has a benefit where if you get a stealth kill on like an elite mob, it might actually be able to kill an enemy that's way higher level than you just because of the fact that it's like so powerful, right? And does so much damage. So right here, we've got enough leather just from those hyenas and stuff that we can up uh, our maximum health. Or this one would just be increase your max tool capacity and junk like that. Uh, let me swap to another weapon right here just so I can kind of show you all uh, the different variation in the combat. Because that's the thing that's cool about this game is that uh, there's only like maybe five or six different types of weapons. But they all have a very different play style. And like I said, like I just really like those close range daggers because they f make me feel cool. Um, but I'm not necessarily good with them. I would actually say that this sword is better. Okay, let's see if we can, should we go up here? That looks like an interesting spot, but let's go check out a quest here so I can show you all what this is all about. Even though I'm going to like st uh, skip all of the uh, content, uh, but you can see it's all like different leveled stuff. Suggested level 17. Why does it say I can do this? Learn more about the mysterious killer. Uh, no, thank you. Um, speak to some idiot because I killed a bunch of people or something. What? Uh, okay. Yep, there's an assassin behind me in real life. Exactly. This is, um, do we want to do that random side mission? No, we do not. See, that's the thing that's really awesome, too. I'm, I'm hoping that we can get, can I fast travel to this location, please? <laughs> I can't fast travel because the quest is, like, the quest icon is over the other icon. Ooh, there it is. Look. This guy ended up dying by some NPCs. This is an actual other player uh, who ended up dying by an NPC, and it's saying, go and avenge them. However, I know that this area, for a fact, has, like, super powerful enemies. That's why I've seen, like, five quests there within the past, like, hour. <laughs> because so many people just go in there and end up dead. I wish I was streaming it when I went in there because it was so clutch. There's these guys, they one shot you if they see you. I snuck right behind this guy, stole the treasure, and I ran out uh, screaming. <laughs> but I ended up getting all the items. Uh, this is the new Assassin's Creed for everybody asking. I, I don't care, it's not Trove, I'm sorry, I know. And uh, for those of you that randomly are like, oh, what's oh, oh, Trove? That's uh, pretty much the main series on my channel. Just in case there's random people that end up tuning into this stream that are tuning in because it's Assassin's Creed, right? Okay, so we got to travel over here. Whatever, that's not bad. See, the city is like really, really beautiful. My frame rate's going to go down a little bit. I mean, we're still probably at like 30, maybe 25, maybe? Or maybe I'm just spoiled with 60 frames and this is what 30 frames looks like. Um, but because we're live streaming, it's gonna be a lot lower. This game, I don't know if this game takes full advantage of SLI, um, which computer nuts out there know what I'm talking about. I have two GTX 980s, which is about the equivalent of one 1080. Um, except it's like, that's the thing, is I don't think this game's taking full advantage of it, because I'm pretty confident that if I was, I don't care, side character, whatever, well, not side character, that's like his main character, is woman or something. Um, but I think if I had a 1080, it would be like, the game would be able to handle itself at max settings. Level 25, Edward, nice, dude. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just messing around. I don't even know what my level is. Hey, we got an ability point though. So I can actually spend that on something if we ever get out of this loading screen. Cycle ranged weapons. What's going on? Ham fisted surgery something. Make sure what? Oh, that's right. 
So we're like in, in Assassin's Creed, we're this person inside some type of weird machine that's letting us play as the cooler person. You know? I I really don't know or care about any of the Assassin's Creed lore. I'm sorry if that's what you're into. Swan dive! Okay, that was really awkward and weird. But yeah, I don't I don't care about this Tomb Raider uh Tomb Raider um adventure going on here too. So I'm I'm just gonna be skipping all the cutscenes. Oh gosh. I'm sorry, okay? I just like being in the ancient world and being like a powerful psychopath who just like destroys everything. This character, I just, I don't know. And hello to everybody that keeps coming in and saying hello. I'm sorry that I'm not responding uh, to every single one of you. I also find it a little bit weird that this character, like we kind of get to mess around in some cave systems, which is really neat. Um, but I'm still waiting for the day when they make the Assassin's Creed that's just in modern times, you know? And you're climbing up, like, uh, buildings and junk. Like, that would be cool. <laughs> what? Avatar all over- Yeah, Avatar- Didn't Avatar, like, rip off Assassin's Creed pretty much? Like, straight up? Why did we- Okay, we went down there all the way around just so that we could go in a merry circle and go right back into- the world. Oh, I see. That- Uh-oh. No, I don't want to interact with the dumb computer. I'm already on my computer. What? Bring the sample back to the Anibus. I don't know what any of that stuff is. So, yeah. I, I want to return to the cooler world. Thanks. Um, L-O-T Aussie. Not- not so much. Uh, you- you kind of- you kind of just use, like, the- the Ice Sage now for, uh, uh, for Titan bosses and junk. That's a, that's a Trove-related question, but shh, never mind. Okay, um, but yeah, so, as I said earlier in the stream, most of all, like, I would like to stream this more often if everybody's into it. I don't really know how many of you guys and gals are actually into me streaming this game, but, man alive, I'm noticing a lot of slowdown when I'm going through a loading screen, I guess because my computer is cranked, right? But... What? What's happening? I would like to do a full series, but this game would be like a hundred episodes or something. So instead, I'm thinking of just doing these random live streams and not really playing the game in any particular order. Or just messing around with it until we're done with it, you know? But yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. What usually ends up happening when the story pulls us out and then throws us back in is we end up going to a different uh, time period? Or maybe it's that we go to a different area, I think. Let me just skip all of this. I don't care. Enjoy there. Okay, that's not a new area at all. This is just that same area. Hello, mine wife. What am I supposed to do? Why are you randomly here, lady? Like, seriously. I love the climbing, dude. It, it's so much better than the other Assassin's Creed's. Like, I was, I was really on the fence with this game. I was really worried about like the direction that it was taking and I thought, oh, just another Assassin's Creed. And then I got it and started playing it and I love it. Like, look at this world, look how big it is. And we're just messing around in a city. There's like tons of caves. You can go out into the wilderness and, and over there in that area, we're not, we're not gonna go there cause there's like really, really powerful dudes over there that wrecked my face. And a lot of side quests and stuff as well. Like, there, there's so many crazy things that you can do. Hello, Jub Jub. Yes, come hither. Come hither, young pup. Ugh. You're tangling in my wires. Jub Jub. She just woke up just to come up and sit on my lap. She's been so clingy, clingy lately, which is perfectly fine. But now you're probably gonna hear a bunch of snoring. Aha! Kill and uh, kill the perpetrators of whoever killed that random player. Let's do it. Let's avenge that guy. Like, right here, right now. No, this isn't Trove. This is Assassin's Creed Origin. I'm sorry. Please don't hurt me. I want to play this game right now. There, there's gonna be other Trove videos coming out. Don't worry. Let's just jump down here. All these other areas, too. Like, um... That's another thing that's really cool, too, is the game kind of does a fantastic job of having different districts. 
So you can ha see, like, just, like, look at all this area. Like, it's not just the same copy and paste building over and over. You know what I mean? Like, this is of the same quality, excuse me, of, like, GTA 5, if not, like, a lot more impressive and better. Like, I love GTA 5. This might actually be one of my favorite games. Like, I'm going to see how long it lasts. The fact that there's no multiplayer kind of sucks. Like, I wish that this game had, like, multiplayer. But at least it does have, like, these nice little touches of just this. Where we're connected to an online server. Uh, so we can go over here and see, like, oh, this other player ended up dying over here. Right? So it's going to show us suggested level 20 for some other random quest. I, I don't care about that quest. I need to save this guy. See, and he just loads up as a generic character. That's not necessarily, like, what they actually look like or anything. Find and kill the perpetrators. Where? Where are they? I'm going to find and kill them all. Aha! Wait, what? They died way over here on the beach, but then, like, what killed them was way over there in a boat? Okay. Maybe they lured it all the way back to the shore or something like that. I don't know. Uh, thank you, MSD. I am very much obsessed with playing video games. That's why I love my job. Like, seriously, I get paid to play video games. Uh, it's just absolutely uh, fantastic. And I get paid from YouTube, not like out of your pockets. That's what I love about it. Okay, so this person actually died by this boat? Hehe, <laughs> watch this. Whoop. I mean, I get him. I mean, I get him. We're gonna sneak up on him. Are we gonna be able to do it? <laughs> Can we catch up to the boat? Can we catch up to the boat? Haha. <laughs> Secret surprise assassination attack. Whoa! You stupid idiot! So that's a different weapon, by the way. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Close your eyes, children. Close them. Okay, so we gotta, like, confirm the kill now. Also, you can see, like, on these guys, um, when we got a dead body, we can actually poison it. And then have, like, other NPCs uh, touch it, and essentially they get tagged with poison and end up becoming weaker for combat and stuff like that. They've got so many different elements to this game, dude. All right, let's sneak over here. Yeah. No! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> His boat's just gone. He's sitting there swimming in the ocean. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, man. When am I going to play Trove? Never. I quit. No, just kidding. There's going to be a troll video today and uh, every other day. Don't worry. When when the um, when the adventure update hits, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of fun streaming that like a crazy person. Okay, so we got three guards. That's it. Why is this boat not moving? Like, that's what I want to know. It's just standing still. Okay, we got to be careful here. So let's dive underwater. So amazing that this game has this much of itself fleshed out, dude. Like, seriously. Both of those idiots seem to be looking in the same direction. I'm scared that there's, like, another guard here. Like, I'm, I'm really worried because they usually come in fours. Okay, those guys are all just hanging out up there like idiots. So this is going to be, like, a walk in the park. Whoops. I stabbed his toes. Uh, we could also potentially free these lions which would then cause all sorts of trouble. But that's okay, we don't need to. Oh, I see, I didn't know that. If you're too close to another dude when you assassinate someone, the other guy just spots you. I didn't know that. What the? You guys get out of here, don't, don't, no, 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 no. They spotted me. Get angry and attack the lions. You stupid wild animal, I'll get you. A lion fight on a boat, like, okay. Come here, you! Bad kitty! Yes, oh my goodness, I gotta be, like, really careful. I mean, it's not, like, that powerful a creature or anything. What is with... Okay, these guys are going down, I don't care. No. Let's just... Alright, alright, here we go. Yep. Yep. 
There we go. That's one of them. Are you gonna stand still? Did he just steal that other guy's like ammo or something? No, he's like trying to take over the boat. He's like, we gotta get out of here. Like seriously. All right, all right. I should have activated this lion while we still had our power move. Oh, we do still have our power move. Okay, good. Super ultimate attack. That was like really, really weak. I'm surprised. Yeah, bad kitty. See, I think we're secretly doing enough damage that it's getting stunlocked, because normally those guys are, um... They're, they're a lot more difficult. Every light touches is our kingdom. Yeah, I know, I killed the Lion King, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I assassinated someone when they were too close, that's why, yeah. Because because otherwise, like, I, I never did that before. I kept thinking like, oh, you know, we're going to be able to stealth kill all of them, but it, it makes sense. Okay, I don't want to like slowly move these bodies, so I'm just going to confiscate your boat, kind sir. Please go away. See, that's nice too, like, because your character is like helping people, it like has those nice little touches where it's like, the guy just gives us the boat. Is that crocodiles? No, that's birds. Okay, there was something over there, let's just... Keep going. I didn't know we could. That's actually really cool. There's a crocodile! Dude, you distract him! I didn't know that we could actually get our boat like stuck on the land like that. That's really, really cool. Like seriously, the more I play this game, the cooler it is. What is this? You discovered this location. What is up here? We already have this place as a fast travel point, yet it says we just discovered it. I don't quite understand. Is there, what is, oh, there's something here. What is that? Oh, treasure. Okay. No guards though. It's not like a guarded uh, area. It's just a random temple that's just hanging out. All right. Yep, hello everybody. And that's randomly showing up. See, this is what I mean. This is what I like about this Assassin's Creed. You can pretty much just climb everything like uh, Breath of the Wild rather than having to climb like very specific walls and stuff. This is Assassin's Creed. I'm sorry, it's not Trove. Don't eat me. Was there an art treasure around here or was that it? What did we even get? Probably garbage. I'm sure it was just trash. Like, really. Okay, so now we've got these, um... Wait a minute. Yeah, there's a guard up there, huh? Why are those guys randomly up on that building? What are they protecting, huh? What are they, what are they looking after? I don't know, dude. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. He! Ah! Don't worry about me, citizens. I'm not evil, even though I look it. Let's refill all of our stupid tools and stuff, too. I gotta sell, like, five billion items. And I love how you can just sell unnecessary items. Like, really, that's, that's too good. This is, gonna, this is gonna take me a little bit, um, like seriously. So we've got heavy weapons as well, uh, which is kind of a different combat style. It's a lot slower. If I had a good legendary one, maybe I would show you guys what it is. Well, I guess I can show you these rare ones. Why not? Uh, but then there's spears as a category. There's also some type of axes. I don't know if I actually have any of those though. Yeah, maybe they're just guarding the citizens. I don't know. Uh, but you see how, like, l this item is level 7, as opposed to, like, this shield is level 16. So, you can see that this one is kind of rated as a higher quality uh, than this one, but this one is the same price, because if we would actually uh, use the smith uh, to forge this up and make it our level, like level 16, then the shield that we're using right now would actually be a lot stronger. Same with this one right here, because it's actually a rare one, right? Which I don't know why we're not using these rare shields. Like, really. All the different stats on them is really cool, too. The fact that it has, like, fire resistance tells me that later we're probably going to end up fighting fire enemies or something. Like, fire arrows and junk. But I don't think that we do for a little while. Okay, I want to upgrade. Ooh, look how expensive that's going to be. I like my dual daggers, though. I really like my dual daggers. Because it's got health on kill, too. This one's, like, really, really fast charging. Oh, no, it's instant charging. I see. So it, it's instantly charged as soon as we go into combat. That's why it's, like, so powerful. 
Okay. All right. Well, anyways, uh, let's swap our weapon. Just so I can show you all what these other ones kind of look like. The heavy weapon is a little bit different. Now, that said, I'm still going to try and... Uh, sneak up on these dudes. Like this. Hee hee! Stupid tower shield idiot. I like how that killed him. Like that... Sh <laughs> that should not have killed him. But it did. Oh my. All right, let's... Uh, what can we do here? Yeah, let's just activate. Oh! 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 Heavy weapon! Ah! See, that's why the heavy weapons are really cool. Ooh! They got a lot of, a lot of damage to them, and you get to go in this berserk mode where you can't get stun locked and can just spam attack. It's really cool. Take that. I hit him with a mace on his tum-tums. So you can see very clearly as well that that, like, even though we're not using, like, a legendary version of that weapon, those guys were low enough level that it wasn't a problem. <laughs> Love, I want to kind of see, too, there, there's this other NPC. What the? Oh, I've never, like, been here. I got, like, these fast travel locations, but I never explored the area. Uh, but this person is the person that ends up selling you different clothes. Uh, most of all, it's just vanity. Uh, and then you can get a bunch of mounts from this guy, which I already have the best one that I can get right now anyways, because for some reason these characters don't seem to actually sell anything good. I think it's because there's a skill. Uh, is this it? Backstory. You can purchase rarer gear in the shops. Yeah. Buy materials. You can purchase crafting materials from the shops. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then look at this one. That's so cool. You could actually own a chariot. I like it. And, and then, of course, you know, this would be if we ended up going all the way, increase the damage of all your tools, blah, 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 blah. I don't have most of those abilities. And honestly speaking, this animal taming for right now is pretty useless. Maybe a little bit later, uh, you know, we would end up animal goods and trinkets can be sold at 25% increased price. Oh, that would have been handy. But maybe we end up like going into the desert a little bit more later because as of right now, it just doesn't happen too often. Uh, so most of these items are just kind of like, eh. let's get the spear, which oddly enough is like cool because it has a lot of reach, but he does like these weird sweep attacks, you know? Okay, so there's, uh, what do we want to attack next by? Random side quest, abuse of power. That That's cool. Oh, wait. We've got this guy, the nomad dude. Yeah, so this I wanted to show you all, because this I think is awesome. This is the dude that you buy the loot crates from. You can also do side quests from him sometimes, but I don't know when those reset. Like, I really don't know when those reset. So we can either buy this carbon crystal. I have no idea what this is. Legendary crafting material. I guess there's crafting in this game. I haven't touched it, so I don't know. Uh, but then we can buy this chest right here. So we could have either upgraded our weapon uh, for 3,000 gold, right? Or we can just buy this chest for 3,000, which is going to end up being at our level. It does have a chance of dropping a shield, and I don't really use shields. But let's grab it. Loot crate time! Ooh, that's not a legendary. That's just a rare. But at least we got a bow. So that's cool. Let's go for another one, because why not? Who cares? Legendary! Legendary Spear! Perfect! Now we can actually try this out. Health on kill, long reach, average power, uh, critical hit rate, and critical hit damage, or chance, or whatever. Do we actually want to go for another one? No, we do not. That's okay. I don't really care. Yep, I, Death Deity, I, I know you, dude. I do. I'm just, I'm just uh, distracted by all the beauty that is this game. See, now it's actually our level, too. Um, we ended up also getting another bow, which was that this one? Wolvesbane, a hunter's bow. What has this actually got to it? Charging speed is insane on this thing, which means like him getting it ready. I love how this game often refers to like, um, yeah, I did get the carbon crystals from a temple chest. That's why it's like some rare resource that you can either grind or you could just buy, I guess. Uh, I haven't really gotten into any of the crafting though, but as you can see right here, like we can dismantle this. So I don't know what that does. Oh, it just gives us resources. Okay. And I probably am just not far enough along in the story um, to actually know, like, 
how to craft stuff. Like, that's probably a little bit further in the quest line or something. Uh, it's pretty cool, too, though, because this one right here, you can see ammo, and it's got three arrows on the right. Because you actually shoot, like, five arrows at a time, which is insanely expensive uh, uh, as far as, like, um, your arrow count is concerned. We got a new outfit. Ugh. Why would I want that one? There's also the Ezio outfit, which I guess we could rock this one. This is a character from the other Assassin's Creed. I I don't know. Apparently, I like my Uplay account was tied to this, uh, that we could actually get this costume or something. But my old, like, Assassin's Creed 1 wasn't actually tied to my Uplay account. So I couldn't get the original costume for some weird reason. And then these are the different costumes you can buy. Not really that many, I'm guessing, because you gotta, like, either get a bunch more from quests or something. I don't know. Anyways, let's go over to this thing. Let's check it out. Because I'm curious, and I want to use my Spear of Destiny. There's also another boat over there, so help me, I'm going to go and kill everyone on it. I don't care if it gets boring doing the same thing. Wait a minute. Aha! Those are guards if I've ever seen them. That's the thing that I like about this game, is it's designed so well that you can tell by the silhouette of the enemy. Like, uh, silhouette of the character, I mean. Whether they're like a guard or not. Like, that guy we know is a civilian just because of the way he's walking. That guy standing over there, we know he's a guard. What is that? What did we just mark? Oh, just another one of those bow things. There's another one right there. Is that all of them? Probably. I don't know if I necessarily see... There's a bit of fire up hanging out at the top. But I want to try and... Let's sneak up on this guy. Oh. I need fire bombs, dude. I don't have them, though. Um, you can also whistle. Which I don't do very often. I just did it right there. But that guy's too smart. He's too smart for me. That is to say, he's probably deaf. So instead, we'll just... Dude, the, I wanted to do the assassination jump move, but that's cool. I'll just spear him instead. Ow! I've got insane reach, so you stay away from me. See, that's the thing. I don't know how to use these uh, weapons, but I guess that's the point, is with the spear, we've got long reach, so we're supposed to be trying to stay as far away from the enemies as possible, right? It would be cool if the assassination for this guy right here was just pushing him in the water. <laughs> like, like, that should do it, right? Oh my gosh. There's so many dudes hanging out in there. Wait, are they all around a campfire? Is there a campfire in there? I don't see a campfire. I wish that there was a campfire because it means that we'd be there. All right, we'll just whistle. We'll just whistle. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. If we have... Yes! This is gonna be cool. Brah! I don't know how I killed that other guy by like landing on him. Spear attack! Oh, I missed! How do you miss? He's right in your face! Look at this. Dude, I'm so like long ranged. Boom! Yes! I love how he uses the spear. I wish the Lunar Lancer in Trove used the spear like this instead of poking them with a fork. Like seriously. Jub Jub, I love you. What are you doing? You're adjusting like some type of a crazy animal. Oh look, there's the fire. <laughs> I could have used that the whole time. Where where was that boat that I wanted to rob? Huh? So help me, I like the boats a little bit too much. I know, sweetheart, I know. She's getting antsy. Probably because she wants food or love. Of which she has both. What are you doing, Jub Jub? I know, sweetheart. You gotta lay down proper, though, girl. There you go. Jeez. What are you doing? There's that boat. Okay, um, but before we end up now, she's freaking out again. Just stop it. Sit down. There you go. Please, please sit down, or I will put you on the floor. Because you're being bad. Let's go do, um, what, what do we want to do here? I guess we'll go to this error question mark thing. Because I'm noticing our stream is getting really close to an hour. And I, again, I don't really know how interested you guys and gals are actually into this game. Um, but again, it's like, I, I'm just kind of playing this. And it's like, you can you can choose for yourself whether or not you want to actually watch it or not. Hey, we get to actually get revenge on the hippos. Alright. Because otherwise, this is what we were doing before. 
Like we were we were sneaking up on the hippos two seconds ago. Just remember the other dude like came in and beat the boss before we could. Now we can do it ourselves. Are they sleeping? He looks adorable. All right, you stupid alpha male. Poke him with a sharp stick. Maybe that'll like do something. Okay. Um, I'm not particularly good with the spear. It's not necessarily the best weapon for this type of situation. Like seriously, I'm probably going to die. Boom! There's too many of them. Stupid hippos. I mean, I'm the one who like literally came into your house, but that's cool. Instead, we're 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 going to like pretend that we're the good guy. Oh! Oh, they're stun locking me. You stupid idiots! Ha ha! We have to escape, like seriously. I, I I gotta get like a better weapon. The spears suck. That's why I don't use them. I don't like them. He's attacking my boat! He's on my boat! Blah! Run! <laughs> Can we climb up the trees and hide from them? Nope, that didn't work. That didn't work. Okay. The spear would probably be really useful if we used it. Oh, they're following me. If we used it like on our uh, horse or something, maybe. Right? Whoo! Okay. Let's swap to a better weapon. Yikes. Legendary weapon, my foot. I want my daggers back. They're like the most OP in the game so far. Like, you just you just go up to things and you kill them. Oh, look, we, sp we split them up. I totally did that on purpose, right? Yes. That's what you think, you dumb hippo. Can you stop? I don't have the timing down. He's like shoving me away. I gotta get way too close to him. Okay. Okay, stupid hippo. Maybe this weapon's not as good as I thought it was. Or these hippos are just like really, really powerful. It seems that they are, because they just really, like, just have a lot of survivability to them, don't they? Jeez Louise. Okay, um, let's swap over to the other sword, because this thing at least seems to have a little bit more hit to it. The heavy weapon, that I actually really like, that's a good weapon. But, um, spear not so much. There we go, that was easy for some weird reason. I like how they destroyed my boat. I will avenge it. You stupid idiot! Wait, you know what? I got a special technique. Look at this, yes. Go to sleep, and I'll attack him while he sleeps. Yes! Yes! That's kind of cheap that we could do that. And there we got him. <laughs> that was cool, dude. Okay, do we got secret treasures around here? Yes, we do. Because we can go around looting a bunch of things too, by the way. I just haven't actually done that uh, in this stream yet. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. I knew there was more treasure. They always have a lot of treasure by these layers, which means there was probably treasure at the other animal layer uh, that I just didn't end up getting. Like, eh. Yeah, the other Assassin's Creed games are good. But this one's like a really good game in general. I like my lion outfit, but let's swap to this. Just so that we're in theme with the game, right? Uh, no MSD, don't worry, it isn't. Because it's a video game and it's like crazy weird. What is, what? There's like treasure way over there. Oh, I remember that. What is this? Palom, palomi, plop. I don't know what that says. There, there's like some crazy bad guys over there. When I first came to this area, they were like really, really powerful. So let's go and see if they're like still going to one shot me. In which case we're going to have to sneak, which I do like that as well. Yep, you can use a bow. I'm just not very good at it. There's uh, another ability too, which is really, really awesome. Um, where you actually like, it's one of the higher uh, abilities in the skill tree for the bow where you can shoot your bow and you can control it in mid-air while it's all slow-mo and stuff. It's really, really neat. Okay, I don't know. Are these guys still super powerful? No, they're level 16 and 50 and stuff. Okay, because when I first came here, it was like 
really deadly. You know what I mean? What is... Oh, there's more treasure, huh? Okay. There's a lot of treasure here. I guess just because we have so many of these dudes hanging out. But yeah, like when we ended up getting past the tutorial area, then suddenly it was like, boo, you're in the desert. And suddenly we were just here and these guys were like these high levels while I was still level one. So we gotta still be a little bit careful because they are quite powerful. They're around our level. We're only level 16, so yikes. But we should be able to get through this relatively unscathed because of how good I am at this video game, because I've been playing it for so long. I'm pretending that I'm better at this game than I am, but I do want to hit these guys with some berserk. Wait, we just got, oh, we got a carbon crystal? Really? Okay, that's not bad. So we could, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, even if it alerts all of them. We gotta do an Assassin's Creed dive right here. Like we have to. Blah! That didn't end up doing anything. That was good. That was real good. Okay, so what we can do as well, hold on, hold on here. Hold your horses. Yes, I know I could, yeah, I'll use a heavy weapon. Just because why not? These guys are like strong enough anyways. Let's go for it. I like the heavy blunt weapons. I haven't actually messed with a heavy ax yet, but I want to see. This is going to be cool. Watch this. Okay. I'm going to tag him. Tag him with some poison. And then he's going to go and investigate. Yes. We'll just leave him to do his merry little thing. Because I'm going to go take care of this big guy right here. I didn't mark him! Run! <laughs> I didn't mark him, dude! Oh, oh, I feel like such a fool now. Ah, you dummy! I may not have marked it. Oh, gosh, this guy's like really powerful. Jeez. All right, um, 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 uh, uh, okay, let's uh, try this. Maybe this will work. There, that did it. Whoo! That was actually really uh, exhil exhilarating and cool because that shield was like so big. Hiya! Did that guy get tagged by the poison yet? Let's get him to get tagged by this poison instead. I like how he's actually getting caught in like the smoke that's over there. <gasps> that was just a random guy that just passed by. He was like a bad guy too. Did that? He died by the poison. Yes, it worked. My secret pl uh, plan. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Like, I love the amount of options that this game gives you, dude. It's amazing. All right. Um, Wait, why? Why? Where, where's the other treasure here? Oh, I see. It doesn't show up unless I mark it. That's what's going on. There's one up in the tree. Yikes. That's one thing, too, is, that's kind of cool, is you don't get, get to uh, do it very often, but climbing trees is a thing, because they got all their experience from, uh, like, Assassin's Creed 3, right? That's the thing that I love about this game, is it's like they took all of the experience that they had from all the other Assassin's Creed games and just threw it into one. And it's, it's great. Like, it's a really good game. Yeah, I know that her guy scared me, too, Nicholas. Like, geez, why did he just randomly show up out of nowhere? Take this, you stupid statue. I don't like pottery. Yeah. That's why we're destroying it, right? Totally why we're destroying it. Oh, and by the way, it's like gross nighttime. Sorry, guys, I didn't even notice, but boop. This is one of the best aspects of this game. Yup. I love it. Like, especially, most of all, I think it's as a content creator, I'm like overly spoiled in that I always want there to be a way that you can skip the stupid nighttime. Why is Jabrius? What's he doing over there? Is he eating all the food or all of the stuff in the field? Dumb camel. I should have got a horse instead. I just skipped to the day. Yeah. Yeah, the funny thing is that it's actually one of the first abilities that you have to uh, learn. Okay, let's call him again. Now he's gonna be right by us, right? Yup, yeah, okay. Teleporting horse, I love it. 
This game also has an auto walk feature. But if you make him auto walk, he's gonna take the long way around because he has to go on the road. So it's kind of a bit of a trade off, but at least it means that you get to have a nice scenic view. Cause look at this, like, isn't this beautiful? From all the way back into the town, now we're in a completely different like terrain. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I remember this area. <gasps> this was another spot where the guys were way too powerful for me the first time I came here. So hopefully they're a lot weaker. And even if they're not, we're, we're gonna be able to use our ninja abilities. Oh, they're like super weak, okay. Uh, but we would be able to just sneak our way through. Where is it? Where is it? See, our eagle is trying to kind of point us to the hidden treasure so that we can mark it. There it is right there. Um, and that's where as we end up getting more like, there's a lot of bad guys underground actually, I'm surprised. As we end up getting more uh, viewpoints unlocked, it actually increases this eagle's perceptive skill. So he'll detect like trinkets and treasure and enemies uh, a lot more often. Or a lot easier, I mean. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. You, you think that we need to use the camel? I got a horse and it's a rare mount. So it has the exact same movement speed as the camel. It's just, maybe you don't like camels, right? Can I jump and get him from here? Nope. I'll just get him here instead. He he. Put the poison on him as well. Can we whistle? Hey, come over here. Okay, that didn't really work because my whistling sucks. Watch this. Here we go. So just in case this guy just randomly turns around, he's gonna see that his friend farted himself to death. <laughs> that's, that's why there's that stinky cloud, right? Cam I know, I love camels, dude. Like, I, I have the horse, but I always use the camel because the horse is a little too generic for my taste. Aha! I knew there was another guy hanging out around here. It seemed like there wasn't enough dudes. Okay, do we have... Yeah, we got more of our sleep dart things. Uh, we do have poison darts as well. Whoops. We do have poison darts. I'm just not using them. Because, um... Because I like the sleep darts better. I like stunning them and then running up to them. Is that guy facing us or is he facing away? I think he's facing away. Yeah, that's one thing that's always a little difficult to tell. Uh, the other thing too is I don't really have it, but there's a lot of other like abilities that you could end up going for depending on your play style. Like you can actually get one of your eagle's abilities uh, so that you can tag a specific enemy and see his path. Uh, like where he's walking and stuff. So really, really awesome stealth mechanics. And the biggest thing too, this is hilarious. The, one of the best features of this game is the fact that we have a button that lets us crouch now because all the other Assassin's Creed You would auto crouch when you were in grass and stuff like that and uh, half the time it would get you killed Thank you Tavo. I appreciate it, dude. I've been having a blast with the Mario game. So yeah, I'm happy people have been into that series Where are we? Dare I pull out our torch? I don't know if I want to because there was like a lot of guards down here, right? All right, let's let's leave our torch back there. Squeeze through here. Oh, my shield thankfully didn't make noise. Oh, look at that. There's like another pathway into here. Oh, never mind. You can't actually squeeze in there. <gasps> Snakes. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, you stupid cobras. Get out of my tomb. That's the thing too, you can go into like pyramids and stuff. It's really, really awesome. Get out of my tomb! Ah, you dumb, stupid snake! Don't you poison me! Don't you poison me! There. Jeez. Ah. Wait, we can, aha. Break the door! Nobody expected this. Oh, was that the enemies that I was tagging then? Or not tagging, but was that the enemies that I saw? Was just, yeah, it's just a bunch of cobras in here. Okay, well, there's another room. And I like how even though, ah, ah, I like how our bow is actually one-shotting these guys. Yes, the evil snacks. They're slithering away, slithering into my bedroom so that they can steal all the sheets because they're cold-blooded freaks. Right? That's kind of a weird, scary thought. What else do we got in here? Any more treasure? Another crack in the ceiling that we can't do. Oop, hey. 
I thought I'd grab that. <laughs> Every Assassin's Creed game, he just breaks down the door. Yeah, I'm glad that we can. Because really. Yeah, I'm probably going to play a little bit more of Assassin's Creed. Like, most of all, it depends uh, if you guys and gals are into it. Because vultures! I love that. Because now we're out in the desert, right? But I love this game. I'm having a blast with it. I'll probably do more videos or more streams on it just while I'm randomly playing it. Because that's the thing. is It's, it's pretty much while I'm playing it is, uh, is the big thing, right? And then if I, if I end up getting bored of it, obviously I would stop playing it uh, and stop doing streams on it. But for right now, I'm having an absolute blast. Uh, so let's actually go get these two eagle things. Level 38. What is that, like a boss? Look how big this world is, by the way. And look at all these areas being, like, leveled. Regions. Like, this is insane. Jeez, like I never actually took a moment to zoom out all the way on the map, but we, we've just been hanging out in this one region alone. Like we kind of started up here and traveled down here. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. Like seriously. Okay, so that means we technically should be able to... Yeah, we can go into these areas now because it's level 17 to 20. So let's go get these two eagle spots so that my eagle... Yeah, it's pretty much Black Desert. You're right. Uh... So that we can get our eagle a little bit more leveled up, right? And then, and then maybe I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to call the stream after that. Because I'm gonna have to uh, go and get a couple other videos, like, edited and rendered. And I, I gotta get to work, right? Like, this isn't work. Well, it isn't. But I'm just, you know, hanging out doing a live stream. And I don't know, I just, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think uh, Ernesti, like... Aren't areas, like, level locked? Or is it just that you have to discover it and it's just kind of a recommended level? No, it's pretty... This is pretty much like Black Desert, isn't it? But it's like a full single-player game that's more fleshed out. I want this online. And that would be, like, the best game. I, I guess that's what Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be doing, right? I don't really know much about that one, but... It's going to hopefully be uh, really cool. Yeah, Potent, I'm always in the Discord. I'm just not in it right now just because I'm doing the stream, right? Whoa. What the? Oh, lions! Bah! Simba's revenge! All right. Whew. What level are these guys, by the way? Sinu is not available. Why is my bird not available? He's a bird! Why is he not available? Is it because I haven't synchronized this spot yet? Maybe. Sony Vegas is a good one. I, I use Adobe myself, Tavo. Did those lions just run away? Oh, look, it marked all of the ones that were nearby. That's nice. No, it didn't. It only marked a couple of them, because otherwise there's all those guys. There, there's, like, so many things around us that for some reason it didn't actually bother marking. Like, why? You stupid lion. Come here. Come here, lion. I want to get a nice stealth kill on him, but you know what? Forget it. Let's just do this instead. Ugh! There you go. I got you. I got you. Man alive. It's like a real lion where these attacks would do nothing on him. He ran away like a wimp. Wee! What are we jumping into? Oh, I didn't even notice that hay there. Like, seriously. What? Who's detected me? <laughs> the lions are attacking those random dudes. Now is our chance. This is our chance to escape. You guys go ahead and take them. I'm going to steal this guy's horse because I don't know where mine is. I lost it. Okay, where was uh, that other eagle thing? Oh, man, look at this. There's so many things we could do here. Uh, level 22. Yeah, I guess it's like a mini boss or something. Huh. Maybe that. Maybe that's the whole point. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's just... Yeah! You idiots, I'll swoop in last minute and take you all out. Come here, you. I should be using the shield too, but I don't. Like, blocking is a very big thing in this game. It wants you to be parrying and everything. What the? Hey, what was that? He's level 20, so he's pretty powerful. Oh, we barely hurt him. We barely hurt this guy. Like, at all. Okay, can we use our special technique while we're on our horse? I don't think we can. 
At least he's an idiot, even though he's level 20. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Look at him. What happened? Did he, like, lose his weapon or something? He's trying to go and take that other horse. That's really neat, though, as we have, like, uh, running speed and then we ram into him. We not only cause more damage, we actually knock him down. Neato. Excuse me? Did you just try to attack me? You die! See, that's what I mean. I'm supposed to be blocking a lot more so that I could actually block all those arrows and junk. Okay, where's that eagle thing? I got all distracted by, like, everything. Oh, look, more random guys. Hee hee! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love how the horse combat, you're just running in circles. Like, seriously? Uh, I think what's going on with these guys, because that often happens too, uh, is you can actually intercept, like, caravans and stuff. So you, like, maybe we'll end up getting a bunch of resources from these guys. I, I think they're just a random guard patrol. But yeah, sometimes you can like look with your bird uh, and kind of anticipate like, oh, what's going on over here? These guys are carrying gold into the next city and you can like intercept them and stuff. And they're gonna like prioritize surviving and running away rather than fighting you. But that's where the bodyguards will come into play. What's going on? I don't know why there's like a million things over here, but I have to kill them because that's a lot of leather. Grinding resources is uh, like, Pretty cool, but crazy that it's actually a thing in this game, you know? Like, that's what I mean, where it's like, uh, where I was saying earlier, it's like, it's an open world RPG through and through. That also is an Assassin's Creed game where you can like climb everything and has like good combat and everything like that. So it's just awesome. I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, the sound effects are actually really good too. Like the sound design is amazing. Yes! So look, see now this area is quite different than the last zone that we were in. The houses are a little bit different. Ooh, looks like we might actually have sandstorm? Sand there, there are weather uh, effects and stuff like that that do happen out in the world. Die, donkey! Go back to Shrek. I'm sorry, that was really mean. But really, really cool, like the amount of variety in the environment and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it, like if you're out in the desert too, you can get a sandstorm to show up. Uh, and while it's there, it can actually like provide you a lot of cover, like the NPCs, like the guards and stuff, they won't actually detect you. Um, that's how what's supposed to work. Like the sandstorm and stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hi T-Dex. Nothing, nothing really, you just missed us just playing Assassin's Creed and hanging out. Which, we're actually about to stop the stream right here because I gotta get a bunch of videos ready for upload uh, in like an hour. So that's where you'll end up getting your trove and everything like that, right? But either way, um, this was a good little opening here, a good little test run. What'd you guys think? Hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching the stream here because I'm probably gonna be playing a lot more of this game. I could easily just play it on my off time and not actually stream it. And I might do that, like you might, you know, maybe maybe the next time we end up streaming this game, you might see that I'm like a lot further in the game or something like that, because I'm just kind of having fun with this myself. And, you know, I kind of have a bit of a hard time wondering, you know, is this something that people want to see and stuff? So with that, uh, I'll probably end up streaming this a little bit more often, uh, just as I end up playing it. Most of all, because when the Trove Adventure update ends up hitting, that's when I'm going to be doing a lot of Trove streams. Like, on the update day itself, I'm going to be doing a Trove stream uh, where we're going to be getting, like, a bunch of different resources and stuff. Uh, and in general, like, I do want to start streaming more often. Uh, it's kind of like... I, I guess I kind of feel typecast, if that makes sense, if that even applies to me, where it's like I, I'm having a good time just playing random games and I would love to stream a lot more and just play random games. 
But at the same time, it's like I know that most people want to watch all the trove stuff, right? So that's why I'm a little bit on the fence where it's like, yeah, you know, is anyone going to actually enjoy this? But this game's like so awesome and I've been playing it so much that I just wanted to stream it and I don't care whether people are into it or not. Because look at this. Like, what an adventure we had today. In any case, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. We're going to call the stream here for today. I'm going to get a bunch of videos ready. Uh, for today, we're going to have a stream video show, or a trove video, not a stream video, show up in an hour. Uh, and then this live stream is probably going to end up showing up sometime tomorrow, just so that you're, you're not completely swamped with, like, videos that are, like, super duper long. But either way, this was fun. Uh, I'll be in the Discord. Links are in the description of all my videos. Uh, I think it's in the description of the stream video as well. So either way, I got to wait for the stream to catch up to itself so I can end it. Get myself some food and stuff. Have yourselves a fantastic day, everybody. Sound on and stay epic. This is the secret message for uh, everybody else that catches the end of the stream. Jub, jub, I love you.